Thank you for purchasing a PetSafe in-ground containment system. If you're having an issue with your containment system, such as your pet has gotten in or out of your containment area without getting a static correction, you may need to perform what we refer to as a short loop test. A short loop test helps determine whether you're having a problem with your in-ground wire or with your equipment. We're going to walk you through how to perform this test step by step in this video. We're going to be using this transmitter to demonstrate. Now, your transmitter may look a little different, but the loop test will still apply. Begin by unplugging the transmitter. Now, open the lid of your transmitter. Disconnect your boundary wire and your ground wire, if one exists. Set your boundary control width knob to 10. Now, there is a switch on the side of your transmitter. If it reads ABC, set the switch to B. If it reads high-low, set the switch to high. Next, you'll need to cut a length of wire that's between 10 and 12 feet. You'll need this to perform your short loop test. Now, strip the wire coating off of each end of the piece of wire that you just cut. Once you've done this, you'll want to take your wire and place one end into one of your boundary wire terminals. Take the other end of the wire and place it in the other terminal. Now plug your transmitter back in. Now, if your loop light is not lit and your transmitter starts beeping, check and make sure that your boundary wires are snugly within the terminal. If they are and your loop light is still on and your transmitter is beeping, there's an issue with your transmitter. So contact our customer care center with your model number and your proof of purchase. Now, if the loop light is on and the transmitter isn't beeping, your transmitter is working fine. So now let's test your receiver collar. Loosen the probes. Now, a test light was included in your original packaging. Find this and attach each end of the wire on the test light to one of the probes underneath the exposed piece. Once you've attached your test light to your receiver collar probes, you'll want to test your receiver collar. So go to your transmitter and your loop. You may have to get as close as six inches to the transmitter and wire to test the receiver collar. When you're testing, the receiver collar should beep and your light should illuminate. If it doesn't, check your battery in your receiver collar. Make sure it's fresh and properly installed. If it is and the test doesn't work, it means there's something wrong with your receiver collar. So contact our customer care center with your model number and your proof of purchase and we'll take care of it. If it does work, your receiver is functioning properly. So, if your transmitter and your receiver collar both test out okay on the short loop test, but you're still having an issue like your receiver collar isn't activating whenever it gets near the boundary wire, you may have another issue such as a wire break. So what you should do is walk the containment area boundary and make sure that there isn't any activity that's disturbed your wire, such as digging or trenching. You should also check any area where you've spliced wire within your wire layout. Wire breaks tend to happen at splices, so check them and make sure no water damage or corrosion has occurred. If it has, you want to redo your splices. If you check all these things and you're still having an issue, you can also purchase a wire break locator from our website on PetSafe.net. You can also get one through our customer care center. We hope this video has resolved any issue that you're having with your PetSafe in-ground containment system. Once you've done all these things, if you're still having an issue, our customer care reps are standing by to give you a hand. Thank you again for choosing PetSafe.